The, the class that's going on in here today is uh, called Poems into Print, and it's an introduction to this uh, studio space, which is called the Word and Image Lab. There's this great difference between prose and how we encounter it on the page. Prose is liquid. It's meant to kind of fill whatever vessel you pour it into, but poetry is a lot more um, assertive in that way. By making lines, it's muscling around on the page a little bit. It's creating white space around it. And so a poem is both simultaneously a text to be read and understood, but it's also a visual object because it has a form on the page. This was a, a, a kind of dream that was concocted and it began by having Torsten present me with a series of images that he had organized together in book form and was devoid of text. And then I wrote a poem to correspond to the images. That collaboration, we thought, would make for a very interesting course. And we thought that um, Bennington is exactly the place that could make that possible. It's like it's going to connect with all these other parts of the college. And unlike other schools, this cross-disciplinary thing that we do, um, I think what we end up doing in here is going to be very, very unique. The grant supported our ability to expand on just a typical small letterpress shop um, by expanding our capability to also be able to make um, uh, plates, photographic plates. And what that means is then you can design your work on a computer and make letterpress plates from digital files. In the, it's, it's also a holistic big picture thing. You're looking at the technology of um, you know, the alphabet and writing, printing, the history of the book, history of media, and then also able to bring the digital back into this now antiquated printing method. It's kind of rounds it out for me in, in terms of being able to talk about technology or address that. Essentially we're talking about making um, text and making objects that are meant to be looked at and read, right? Um, when you're designing a book, when you're making something that's meant to be read, there is this legibility is, is probably foremost. You have to be able to, to read it and look at it. But one thing we're finding is with this forward progression of technology when it comes to the book, what, what we thought would be this rush toward a complete digital technology when it came to what we read, people are rejecting it. People want the object of the book. It is an ancient technology and it is one that is so human. So for instance, in, in much of Europe, people have not embraced the e-reader. Um, people are really staying with books. And we've seen here in the United States, we've seen a shift that's taken place too, that the intimacy of holding that object in our hands, of feeling the paper, of turning the pages, is not something we are willing to reject. And it hasn't become this rarefied and specialized object yet. It's still something that we want. It's, it's like everyone's in the, is always talking about the death of the book, but it's like there's a certain part of the book that, that can't die, and it's like the, the objectness of it. Um, so I think that's definitely part of it for, for the type. Um, but yeah, it's a piece of history. It's, it's, it's also like a tactile experience. Um, but it's, it's also the process of just going through it. This lab and the technology of teaching, printmaking and printing, of designing books, making books, is also empowering writers and students to be in control of the entire process. You can choose to make a book in order to accommodate whatever it is you're writing, and, and we're going to teach students how to do that. Suddenly, the, the students in the class are going to be in charge of all of those decisions, of what the paper is like, of what it looks like, of how it's printed, uh, not just what it says. You, you can control every moment in the process of making, so that's a learning experience, but it's also a making experience. So you can set a page of text and you can print it and distribute it in the world. And then you own it, it's yours, it's, it's been published, it exists. And I hope that that is what we're going to see, I think, or I hope we'll see in this class is 
we're going to see people's ability to um, how, it, how that changes their writing, how it changes their thinking as you begin to manipulate those materials and, and gain a kind of mastery over it. The thoughtfulness uh, and, and how that just teaches you to set up a project in your life, you know. I mean, it, it, from a liberal arts standpoint, like, what are they going to, is everyone going to be doing letterpress when they leave? I don't know. Uh, I hope, but maybe not. But they will be able to set up a project, you know, in, in a thoughtful way, like you're saying. So that, that to me is like awesome.